Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can remove your video background and apply a green screen and then apply chroma creep to that, which will look something like this. We're just about to dip down. Whoa, oh, look what we got here. It's the Sean Karmanda's YouTube channel. Look at all these techie videos he has uploaded. Well, you certainly want to join the family if you haven't already. Subscribe! Whoa, that was cool, right? Well, the good news is, what I just showed you is completely free. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can do exactly that using free software. And hence, you don't have to go buy a green screen or any other fancy equipment. Like always, any links that I show you in this video will always be in the description below, so you can easily click on them. And now, with that being said, let's get right into the video. Okay, guys, so the first thing I want to do to remove our background is get some free software, which you can use. So the first thing I want to do is open up a web browser. Once you've done that, you want to type OBS and then click on the first link which is obsproject.com which will redirect you to this page OBS Studio where you want to download OBS Studio. OBS Studio is basically used by a bunch of streamers and it's used for if you stream to Twitch, Twitter, YouTube and it's also used for recording videos. I personally use it and I really like it so this is like one thing we're going to use the chroma key function of OBS to uh, remove our background. So the good thing about OBS is that regardless of which operating system you use, OBS has something for you. So since I'm on Windows, I'm going to download Windows. I'm going to only do it to one step of the download process since I already have OBS running. So once it's downloaded, just look on the area where it downloaded, open it up, redirect it to the installation wizards. Next we want to do is open up OBS. The way that we want to actually use this, so the first thing we want to do is get a scene. So right now I have this called this test. So we want to create a new scene. So let's go to, down on the left side. And then we want to type, for example, let's just say video. And then click on OK. Now, common problem that many people face is that if they follow this step, they get a black screen which looks something like this. Like the reason why this problem occurs is not because you're doing something wrong. It's just that oh, that there's there's two processors in your graphic processors in your computer. One's an integrated one, which is power saver, and the other one's a high processing, which I like, use for gaming and all that. And OBS kind of gets confused. You only want to choose one of them. So the way to do that is your taskbar and the type control panel. Okay, once we have opened the control panel, you want to go to hardware and sound, just click on that. So you want to choose your preferred graphics processor. You don't want to do auto select in this case, in the, in the graphics setting it will be let Windows decide or something like that. You actually want to choose one of them. If, if you're gaming, then you want to just choose high performance, that's, a, that's the better graphics processor. If you just want to do a simple recording like I'm doing, choose the integrated graphics. So I'm going to choose that and click on apply. Once that is applied, and click on close this. And then you want to just close OBS and then relaunch it again. And then your display capture should begin. Next, we want to get our preferred source of like video conferencing. So you can either do Zoom, Microsoft Teams. I'll prefer it'll be do um, Cisco's WebEx recording because that completely gets rid of the background. Um, alternatively, you can do Zoom or Microsoft Teams or any other recording toss software that you use. So I'm gonna go back to my browser and then open up a new tab. Okay, so I have my browser open and I'm gonna type Cisco WebEx, which is basically a free software which we can use for recording. So click on it. And then if you don't have an account, sign up and then it's just, it's free, sign up and then sign in and then and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so now I've signed in, and hopefully you've also signed in. Um, so, so I'm using the WebEx free version, but we're actually not gonna like join a meeting with like people. We're just gonna use this so we can apply our virtual background, so our, our virtual green screen to remove our background, so we don't have to worry about like using our upper minutes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start a meeting. It'll be asked, you wanna like open up the web, uh, the desktop app. So or you can do it in the web version if you want, but I'm just going to do it open up in the desktop app. So I'm click on open and then download WebEx. Alright guys, so now that we have our Cisco WebEx meetings launched, alternatively you could have have your Zoom meeting launched or your Microsoft Team meetings launched. Regardless of whichever video conferencing method you have 
launched now we're gonna apply our green screen yes I know I've said that we don't need a green screen for this video but we're actually gonna create our own virtual green screen for pre-installed apps which are on our computer so the way we're gonna do that for, for Microsoft people who use Microsoft Windows we're gonna head on over to the paint app which comes in pre-installed with the with Microsoft Windows laptops so we're gonna go over to our Windows taskbar and then we're gonna type paint and we're gonna click on open and we're going to full screen this and here we have an empty canvas so alternatively you can use canva.com or any other like painting website which allows you to do this so we're going to take the green color and use the fill bucket tool and then just click on the canvas and boom our canvas is now green color so now we're just going to save this so we're going to click on save as or file save as and then type green screen so I already have a file saved so just replace that Saved. And once that's done, we can close this now. And we're going to go back to our Cisco WebEx meeting. And then we're going to click on these three little dots right here. And we're going to click on change virtual background. So um, the way we're going to do a change is we're going to click on this plus button right here. As you can see, I already have a green screen from before. So I'm going to like change, add another one just to show you guys how to do it. So we're going to click on this plus button right here. And then we're gonna to go to our desktop and where we I'm gonna go find where we saved it. So it's right here, we saved it right here. We'll click on open. And then we're gonna choose select this, and once we select it, then we're gonna click on apply. And there, click on close. And there we go. We have a virtual green screen applied behind us. So now we're gonna head on over to OBS Studio to remove this using the chroma key function and then apply our media sources. So what we're gonna do is head on over to OBS Studio. Now here we have an empty black screen. So what the first thing we want to do is we want to start off by make sure you have a scene created. So I have a couple of these test scenes and one for the video which I'm recording right now. So I'll make sure you have at least one scene so then you can add some sources there. So we're going to click on this plus button once you have some scenes added. Click on the plus button. And what we're interested in is in window capture first. You're going to name this whatever you want. But I'm just going to keep it the default and click on OK. Next, I'm going to select which one. So the current windows, are, it automatically detected that Cisco WebEx meetings is running. So it chose that. We'll click on OK. And then I'm just going to resize this. Scale this up a little so it fits the entire screen. All right, so now well, once that's done, we actually don't need this like this part of, or the top part or the side part or the bottom part um, for that sake because we only need our virtual green screen behind us and us and, and you the photo in the photo. So what we're going to do is like get rid of some stuff, crop some strips. So the way to do that is you're going to press the alt key on your keyboard and then just simply drag the corners and then remove this part which you do not need. So I'm going to crop the stuff which I do not need. That make sure you're continuously holding the alt key once you've cropped the entire thing we there we have it we have our green screen there now we're going to use the chroma key functionality in obs studio and remove the green part of the in part of the virtual background virtual green screen and then apply our media sources that what i showed you guys in the beginning of the video so to do that we're going to just right click on this green screen here yeah and make sure you selected it then right click on it click on filters if this part is like kind of like below, just resize your window and click on the plus button right here. And then you're gonna click on chroma key because we're interested in that. You can choose the keep the default name or keep it whatever you want. I'm gonna keep it the default. Click on OK. And then automatically OBS Studio will detect that there's a green color in the background and it will choose green. Alternative, you can use blue. Blue doesn't really work because I don't have a blue screen behind me. And the magenta won't work either. None of this will work. So green works the best. And um, then we can just like, you can change the functionality, like change the deep tones a little. I'm going to keep it the default. And then click on a close once we're applied that. So now we just have a black screen around you, right? So you might, now you might be wondering, how do I put the media sources? So don't worry, I'll show you how to do that. So what we're going to do is just scale this down a little bit. So the, the way you do that, you don't have to click on any key, just just drag this to the corner 
and then now we're going to add our media sources the way that we're going to do that so we're going to again click on this plus button right here and then this time instead of window capture we're going to click on image then name it whatever you want click on ok all right so we're going to click on browse and then i have my weather forecast image right here click on open all right guys so now i have my media source on myself right here so you might be wondering how about if my image doesn't come up and and my media source only, I don't see my image. The problem is that your video capture is actually your below your image source, other and this way OBS will not detect it and it will not display it on top. So the way to do that, all you have to do is just flip your Windows capture on top of your image. Once you do that, your image will automatically appear. And then I can just appear to be a weather forecaster or meteorologist. So Tuesday's weather is mainly going to be rainy and with a mix of a variation between snow and rain. Wednesday we're going to be a pretty windy and it's going to be wet but the temperatures are going to be pretty high. Um, for Thursday we're going to have a cloudy day and it's going to be Thanksgiving. And on Friday it's going to be Black Friday, it's going to be pretty warm. And Saturday it's going to be cool and dry. So you, so you get the idea. You can do whatever you want with this um, OBS chroma key functionality. To actually record this to your comp computer and then save this as a video and you export it to like YouTube or whatever. Plus if you want to like now just like get rid of this image search. Cool way to do this if you just want to temporarily disable it. All you have to do is click on this I button and then click and then it's disappeared. Similar, similarly you can do this for your image. So put that all back. And yeah, this is how you can use a virtual green screen and then apply that onto OBS using chroma key functionality and then apply media. So you might be wondering, why do I have to invest in an actual green screen when I can just do all this? Well, let me just tell you why. For example, you have to do a bunch of tasks before you can actually get to this step. This will tax your computer a lot because there's like so many different applications where it does like all that. When you can just have buy a cheap green screen for about $15 online and you can just avoid all these steps and just go to the last step which is using Chroma Key OBS. So that's why I'd say that you should invest in a cheap green screen rather than doing this. But this is an alternative free method which is really helpful as well. And there you have it guys, now you know how you can remove your video background. So hopefully this video helped you and now you know how you can remove your video background without actually having to buy a green screen. And if this did, make sure to give it a like and share this video with friends and family. And subscribe to my channel if you want more content like this. And make sure to comment down below if you want me to make any other video that you want or if you have any questions and I'll surely reply to you. And thanks for this video, thank you for watching, check out my previous videos which are linked on screen and I'll see you guys soon, bye bye.